2023 sure was one of the years of all time. I can't speak for you or even anyone else here, but after several deeply messed up years, it felt to me like 2023 just kind of happened. As if at a party where 2022 just did a keg stand, 2023 was just, a, just trying to sneak through to the, can I just get through to the bathroom, please? But it was not a year without its share of nonsense. In the same year that the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded for discovering and exploring quantum dots and how color spreads through light, Tucker Carlson was complaining how the colors that melt in your mouth no longer please his hands. Kevin McCarthy was sworn thank you Beach. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy was sworn in as US Speaker of the House after 15 votes, which has never happened before. Then was ousted by his own party, which has never happened before, and was replaced by Mike Johnson, an evangelical Christian who admitted that he and his son monitor each other's adult video intake, which might have happened before, but we've never known about it. And I don't want to know about it. I would like for some number of people to go back to being weird in private instead of where I have to now process this information. Sorry. I know more about the relationship between Jada and Will Smith than I do about anybody I know personally. You are all too comfortable on Maine. And maybe that's a generational thing, but at least the Pew Research Center has realized that that's a bad way to look at things and are doing away with generational framing as they look at research because a generation can be 15 years or more. And that's a big spread of experiences and opinions to cluster together. I'd be happy to stop saying things like, as a millennial, because as a millennial, I don't need to get judged by boomers for looking at my phone while simultaneously getting roasted in a stitch by Gen Alpha. Instead, I think we should all agree that it's live, so something's going to happen. From near and far, young and old people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Loading Ready Live. Tonight on the show, it's Loading Ready Run's big mid-quiz of 2023. My name is Graham, and I've looked at so much internet compiling this quiz that I have now been diagnosed as critically online. But I also threw my back out yesterday, so maybe the Pew Research is right about this. Let's meet this year's teams. As a team, I think they actually span one of those generations, but maybe they'll be drift compatible. It's Beej and Matt. A pair that spend opposing lengths of time on the thinking before speaking and speaking without thinking spectrum. It's Ian and Cameron. And third, our team of, and third in our team of contrasts, the pair with the most and least colorful wardrobes. It's Corey and Kathleen. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Here's how the quiz works. I'm going to ask a variety of questions in different categories. Our teams will write down the answers in secret and at the end of each category we will see how they did and award points accordingly. If you didn't follow that, please keep watching. It's like a board game, easier to pick up as you go. I will say many people here watch other shows of a similar nature, meaning that like last year I've gone a little further afield with my questions. So, I don't know, we're here now <laughs> and I'm very pleased that you are all here. How's everyone doing this evening? You're asking us for the chat. You. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Feel good. Yeah. All right. Heads we don't make it. Yeah. 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 We great. don't get to see the live chat this evening. That thing's great. Uh, we can actually see the live <laughs> chat in the room, so I suggest we turn that oh, off. Oh, we'll hide that. Oh, we'll hide that my in a strategy. moment. strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you, your, your combined strategy. Oh, no. No, no, no. I believe that's what I'm here to represent the purity of quiz. <laughs> I was just going to get stuff wrong on purpose. Oh. Mm. Well, Team Beej and Matt, do you have a team name for us this evening? Midnight Handy Behind the Denny's. <laughs> I signed off on this name. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> right. I'm whimsical. Kind of spoke to the two of us. <laughs> Is this why our Denny's burned down? <laughs> no. No, no, that's not why. <laughs> Denny's is merely closed for asbestos remediation. Yeah. It's been closed a long time. <laughs> that's a lot of asbestos. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had the moons over my hammy? <laughs> Uh, Not behind the Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> team Ian and Cameron, do you Wait. have a team name? Wait, no, sorry, this is important. Oh, is sorry. It, is it uh, apostrophe? Is it is it Denny's possessive or is it Denny's plural? I think it's possessive. Or is it multiple Denny's? Yeah. <laughs> multiple possessive Would Denny's. Be easier You've got a bird like handy behind all the Denny's backs. <laughs> Punch your cart. <laughs> Ian and Cameron, do you have a team name? I, I believe we settled on uh, Survivorship Bias Bomber. Although, to be like technically correct, 
The Avro Shackleton in that infographic is a maritime patrol aircraft. Good call. That's, I mean, this, <laughs> this, this new, new facts I've just learned, thank you. I mean, hey, a quiz is all about learning fresh new facts. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Team Corey and Kathleen, do you have a team name? The winning team. Yeah, Corey suggested it, and I thought, ooh, that sounds bold and hubristic. I like it. Great. All right, well, in that case, let's begin oh, no, with, uh, the, with our first category of the evening, which, of course, is MISC. Ah, uh, great. Because I like to get the MISC out of the way up front. During the course of research for this question, you'll be... You'll be interested to hear. Uh, I found a list of, quote, the funniest headlines of 2023 from E-Bombs World, oh, of all wow. places. Wow. Wow. Whoa. I did not expect them to survive. Did they just scrape them all from albino black sheep? I have no idea, but I, I found that list itself scraped and embedded in an MSN live page. You know, hey. one of those ones that you just keep scrolling forever and ever and never stops. Did they get it from the style project? <laughs> so, like, that's the kind of year we're dealing with, is my point. All right, first question. Gwyneth Paltrow was on trial for allegedly barreling through another skier while on vacation in Utah. And after televised proceedings full of viral moments, the jury ruled the plaintiff was 100% at fault and it was actually he that collided with Paltrow, for which she was awarded what? Your question is, what was Gwyneth Paltrow awarded for winning her skiing accident case? See, I was very confident because I know exactly what she said to him as she left. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what she got. What did she say to him as she left the courtroom? I wish you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Like, that's yeah. nice for you. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, very <laughs> passive-aggressive. A master class and... She was Same. awarded the, the parting lines, the parting words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she got yeah, the last yeah, yeah. laugh. Yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> We should have named ourselves Statler and Waldorf. <laughs> Still time to change your name, I guess. That's true. All right, a reminder, a different piece of paper for each question for the benefit of reveals later. All right, next question. Yeah. I'm looking for a, a specific th three-word sequence here. What three-word incident happened in early 2023 and required official statements and military coordination from the U.S. and Canada, and was satirized on SNL the next day with Bo and Yang portraying an anthropomorphized version of these same three words. What? Mm -hmm. Early 2023, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. We had an international incident? Yeah. You mind if I just write an answer? Go for it. Go write it down. It's definitely the name of the film. Mm. Something that I, something that Chad is now discovering and that I learned from putting this, uh, this quiz together is that uh, I have uh, a vague concept of time. And there's a lot of stuff that I was like, that was this year? Yeah. That was this year, really? All right, interesting. All right, for our next question, it's not about Alberta, but let's go there anyway and here, check in with Surge. What? Hi, Graham. Hi, everyone. You might have heard of civet coffee, where the raw coffee beans first pass through a whole animal before roasting. I've tried it. It's awful. But that's weirdly not the only use for the granular productions of this animal. What other traditional use famously excluded civet secretions in 2023? Oh, do you know this one, honey? So once again, what specific tradition famously excluded civet gland secretions in 2023? The excluded extrusion. Excluded secretions. Is, is a secretion different from an extrusion? I, I don't know. I just don't. I, I want to. Actually, I don't want to know. I was like, do I want to know how you milk a civet, <laughs> but I don't really. There are a couple different ways. Do you secrete aluminum rods? I don't know. I don't know. We just gotta write something funny. <laughs> <laughs> Take a chance, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now write down the words, something funny. While you, while you think of that, I'm gonna move on. Oh, no. 
Uh, brands. Oh, brands. Oh, oh no. they're always doing doing ridiculous things. Uh, why? Yeah. Why was Heinz trying to contact a forty-seven-year-old Dominican man? Yes, that Heinz. Why did they put a call out to help them find a Dominican man? <laughs> Everything just kept reminding them of him. <laughs> this was a this was a like a an interesting story through the year. What was it a specific? Yes, a, Dominican a, man or just, just a yeah, forty-seven year old. No, a specific man. Dominican man. Something about over spicy. Some very interesting suggestions from chat. None of them correct. All right, and finally, in the miscellaneous round, never in my life did I think that I would be in a position to root for Mark Zuckerberg. Ooh. But when Elon Musk challenged him to an actual fight, <laughs> he was definitely my front runner in a King Kong versus Godzilla, let them fight kind of way, where it's more like a humorless sourdough starter versus an emotionless android. But I digress. Before Elon Musk bailed out of the fight like the giant baby that he is, where was it proposed to be taking place? Oh before Elon Musk bailed out of losing, where was this fight cool. supposed to take yeah. place? Yeah. Thank you. Where were the two men going to hopefully hit each other oh, no. and deliver repeatedly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zuckerberg would have hit time Musk in bird. the liver once and Musk would have crumpled like a pile of feathers. Yeah. yeah. No. I know that Musk was like, anytime, anywhere, and then was like, except there, and then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That about covers it, yeah. Didn't his mother, or didn't he say that his mother forbade him? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. And she's been helping him out in a few other areas. Yeah. All yeah. those blood animals. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Got a 15% chance of being right. Let's take a look at the answers for this round. The first question. What was Gwyneth Paltrow awarded for winning her skiing accident case? Team, winning team. Uh, Let's take a look at your response. I'm leaning more into that hubris angle. Nothing, no monies. Just the, the court saying that she was innocent and legal fees. I think All she right. got a free snowmobile ride back up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that was not part of the trial. She got a juice box after the ski patrol picture. <laughs> Those are so great. Nice blanket. I love when that happens. Yeah. She uh, turned yeah. down the juice, though, because it had calories in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Team yeah. survivorship bias. Uh, we, we, we went with a replacement jade egg for the one that she shattered on impact. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. oh, that sounds oh. incredibly painful. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, and team behind the Denny's. We were, uh, I, I was not allowed to work jade eggs into my response, so instead. <laughs> That's where you draw the line now? Yeah. <laughs> An even worse reputation Ooh. is what she won from that. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm afraid it's going to be no points across the board, though team winning team is the closest. She was awarded $1. Oh. Wow. Oh. Nominal. $1. Oh, dollar, I mean, <laughs> yeah, $1 plus legal fees. Yeah, the the uh, the the plaintiff claims that he see this is this is what I get for pre-writing stuff. The, the 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 plaintiff claimed that he suffered brain damage from the injury, but Paltrow sells Jade Kegel eggs, so who's to say what that means? <laughs> uh, so, ha sha sha. <laughs> Next question: What specific three-word incident happened in early 2023? I'll go the other way now. Behind the Denny's, do you have what three words do you have? Uh, I could only think of three Canadian words that have to do with the military. Our Lady Peace. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you right now, that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> team survivorship bias. Uh, we went with balloon shot down, Graham. Yeah. Getting closer, getting closer. Oh. Team, winning team. Chinese spy balloon. Chinese spy balloon is the correct Yay! answer. Yeah! It was shot down on February 4th off the coast of South Carolina and then was port portrayed by Bowen Yang, the disgruntled <laughs> Chinese spy balloon, in a CNN interview on <laughs> SNL that weekend. I forgot that happened because it was so stupid. I mean, we, we Apparently, didn't want... the payload was this. I didn't realize this until I was looking into this question. It was huge. Yeah, the the yeah. payload it's it was the carrying of was the size of, it was like uh, um, uh, a railway car, like they a said. Yeah, yeah, it was a battle bus. 
us, really. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Tip your driver. I, I, I don't want to normally argue points here, but we just can, can we have we didn't want to bring race into it. Unfortunately, the phrase everywhere that is used in this news story is Chinese spy balloon. Okay. It's that was the origin. It's also a really good name for a Canadian band. I'm surprised <laughs> it doesn't. I'm surprised it doesn't exist. Uh, next question. Let's go back to Serge, hopefully, for the answer to the civet gland question. If you were thinking coffee that tasted like poo, it must be something to do with King Charles, you're right. For the first time since the tradition began, the holy anointing oil use in coronating English monarchs did not include civet secretions. It also didn't include ambergris, ambergris, however you pronounce it, because for all of his other weirdness, Charles wanted the coronation to be animal cruelty free. I mean, at least as far as his oil goes. Who gets to tell Serge where ambergris comes from? <laughs> Wait, it's Wales. He knows yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The so country. I should have checked in with your answers first, but what did you all what did you yeah, all write? Is down? he not the Prince of Wales? <laughs> <laughs> team team behind the Denny's, what did you write down? Coronation anointing oil. No way. Hell That's yeah. a point for Team Behind the Denny's. Uh, team survivorship bias. Charles III's coronation perfume. Though I will always refer to him as Prince King Charles. <laughs> Prince King Charles. I will I will accept that for a point. And team winning team? Traditional civet juicing. We're strong Republicans here, so we should care. <laughs> Excellent. Big, big Adam Driver punching a wall moment when it was announced that the civets weren't going to be milked for the anointing oil. Well, you you, you, you just have to express the gland. Yeah, cat owners amongst us should know you can get it. You can get oil freely. Oh yeah, you can do whatever you want to a cat, and it's nice and legal. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Next question was. Why was Heinz trying to trying to contact a specific forty-seven year old Dominican man? Team winning team, do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only person who knows the fifty seventh ingredient. Uh, that is not the answer. You'll be shocked to discover. Team, you know, we'll jump over to team behind the Denny's. Ooh. Uh, I wrote down because we didn't know misuse in a personal hot sauce business. That is. Also not correct, I'll just tell you right now. Team survivorship bias, do you know? Uh, Cameron gave the, me what uh, sounds like the correct answer, and I phrased it in a way that's probably going to lose us points. <laughs> he was an adult from an old ad wherein he uh, portrayed a child. Uh, I'm afraid, that's a, that, wow, what a great theory. That's not true, but that's, that's a really cool idea. Then he was the child, I'm not just portraying it. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, the uh, the answer was that uh, he was lost at sea for 24 days and survived on ketchup. Huh. Oh. They uh, they have they have since they have since connected and Heinz says that they want to buy him a new boat, but I haven't found confirmation anywhere that that happened. I'd maybe offer some fries for all that ketchup. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. Thank God they did not offer him a lifetime supply of ketchup. Well, I bet he, had he turned it down. I bet he was like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. I don't want anything to do with ketchup after that experience. On the Okay, we'll give you a boat. Let me, Let me reiterate. reiterate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll give you a red boat called the USS Ketchup. <laughs> and finally, in the miscellaneous round, where were Musk v. Zuck going to battle it out originally? Team behind the Denny's. Moving on, <laughs> team survivorship bias. Siege wrote that one. What, 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 what was it international waters and failing that Vegas common new? Interesting. And team winning team? Uh, I just, I didn't know, so I wrote on the Joe Rogan show. <laughs> <laughs> Which involves many odious people as possible. You can do anything on that show. I don't, I don't know which of these... Uh, I don't know which of these three incorrect responses oh. is, the, is the closest to being true. They all sound... Roughly plausible. The answer was the Colosseum. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Though, right. despite claims that Italian authorities were on board with it, the Ministry of Culture denies ever having sent an invitation for this. Oh my God. Another fun 2023 Colosseum story: a guy was arrested for carving a love note into it, and later, apologi legitimately apologized. It was a very. It seemed like a very sincere apology, saying that he didn't realize how old it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
Epstein had the same problem. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> the whole table died. You didn't get to see it happen in real time, but the whole table died. Well, I've started drinking now, though. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to our next category. We've never brought up the dark specter of this category before, but I think we can handle it. Probably better than a lot of people directly involved with this profession. That's right, it's I Can't Believe It's Politics. Uh-oh. I'm going to read you a preposterously long list of statements regarding former representative George Santos. Worth noting two things. One, he only entered office in 2023. It's only been this year. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. wow. And I didn't even use half of the available things that I could have used. I would like you to identify the single thing that is true. <laughs> like that he actually said or that is true that he's claiming? From this list. The thing that is, the, the one thing from this list that is true. He was a star in his college volleyball team. He worked for Goldman Sachs. He earned an MBA at NYU. The executive producer of Succession is making an HBO series about him. He ran a real estate portfolio of 13 New York properties. He founded an animal charity called Friends of Pets United. His mother died from health complications of 9-11. His niece was kidnapped by two Chinese men in Queens. His grandparents were Holocaust survivors. He had a background role in Disney's Hannah Montana he was a producer on the failed rock musical, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Ooh. Any one of those. And these are all things that he, has, that he has claimed? Yes. Um, these are all things that he has claimed. One of them is factually accurate. We can go to that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you right now, it, it, this is not like a jokey, like, ha-ha, they're all, tr they're all one thing. And they're all, no, no, there's, one of these is, is true. Now, when you say one of these is true, have the others been disproven? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's the Big claims. In America, even their demon twinks are huge. <laughs> I think the animal thing. I feel like yeah, every day good. the internet brings us closer to the concept of what if we just say something is true <laughs> and see if we can warp reality around our understanding. And I think every every day we get a little closer to completely subjectifying ex existence. Ah, the Greeks called it logos, ah. the creative power of God. <laughs> I, I just love how many of those things are like easily verifiable like yeah. it's not even trying to do things that are like oh who knows maybe i can get away with this it's like if somebody just like goes and looks <laughs> all right second question in this category i've got a question about someone who's weirdly still in office it's lauren bobert oh, though she initially played this off by posting quote i plead guilty to laughing and singing too loud of what particular event did Lauren Boebert concede, quote, simply fell short of her values? Do you know the answer? Okay. All three teams were really on the mark on that one. Took something dear to our hearts. <laughs> Say it three times, it's almost like Brady. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> In the bag. Yeah. Well, and I finally, so. I am sad to report that the USA does not have exclusivity on baffling nonsense from politicians. Here in Canada, Pierre oh. Polyev, oh. <laughs> the leader of the Federal Conservative Party. Uh, sorry, according to the leader of the Federal Conservative uh, Conservatives, Pierre Polyev, how do we get electricity? <laughs> this is a statement he has made repeatedly at several totally non-campaign rallies because campaign rallies aren't allowed to happen outside of the campaign window. So these are just hilarious bullcrap parties that he's throwing. Wait, that's right, yes. I have no idea. All the Americans in chat are not aware of this one. Yeah. I I try to avoid everything that comes out of that man's mouth. That's the best bet. I have a limited tolerance for 
being furious. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty certain I heard him say. And, and I, Good news. There's really only three questions in this round. Uh, really if Americans want to picture Pierre Poiliev, imagine if you sweated George Santos quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he recently stopped wearing his glasses so he could look more macho and slightly more beady-eyed. I can't wait until they try to do like a tough guy cowboy photo shoot, <gasps> like with Stephen Harper where he has oh, his yeah. leather vest. Oh. Polyev in a leather vest, cowards. <laughs> I hope, I hope his cowboy boots stick on for days. <laughs> yeah, I hope he puts all his leather stuff on, chaps and everything, sure. and then gets stuck in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he likes right. pina coladas. Let's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's mercifully get out of this round and look at the answers to this one. So which of my baffling list of nonsense about George Santos was true? Team behind the Denny's, what did you write down? The animal thing. The animal you wrote, thing. Oh, you, you said a lot of words. You sure did. I, I sure did. I only remember one of them had animals. Founded yeah. an animal charity called Friends of Pets United? That yes. was. Yeah, no, he said he did. Yeah. No okay. one ever found it. All right. Yeah, it seems like he just, like, like, like many of these, the answer is, it seems like he just took the money. Okay. Uh, team survivorship bias. 9-11, Graham. <laughs> Always bet on 9-11. Upon closer inspection, his mother wasn't even in America on 9-11. Many that. people not in America died as the result of complications <laughs> due to 9-11. Direct, direct health complications was his claim. He claimed that she died several years later. In, in reality, it was 15 years later, mm. uh, and she wasn't even in the country at the time. So, you know, your, your point is valid, <laughs> but, but I'm afraid that's not correct. She just never forgot. Team winning team. We feel very strongly that he was actually an extra on Hannah Montana. Unfortunately, no! not only please, was Graham, not only please. he also claimed to be an extra on the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, but neither of those were true. Oh, why would you do that? Also, why would you claim to be a producer on the famously failing Spider-Man uh, yeah. rock musical? Yeah. That's also not true. Is it? The executive producer of Succession wants to do a, store, uh, a show about him. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Oh, no. yeah. he didn't say it, oh. I'm sure. Exactly. <laughs> Who's going to play him? Everything else here, he said. He's got a lot of time. I hope it's Bo and Yang. <gasps> <gasps> I hope it's Bo and Yang. That'd be amazing. Not only was he not a star on his college volleyball team, he didn't even go to that college. <laughs> he didn't even finish high school. He got, a, he got like a diploma equivalent certificate later. Ah. Good for him. So you can follow <laughs> your dreams in the Americas. I guess. <laughs> Next question, what did Lauren Boebert do that she had to concede simply fell short of her values? Team winning team. <laughs> uh, we wrote giving a handy during a theater production bracket, then being rude. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. Let's, let's find out if you're correct as we move on to team survivorship bias. A Beetlejuice hand whammy, Grant. <laughs> I love that you wrote it in cursive. Excellent, excellent. So did she. <laughs> Team behind the Denny's. Midnight handy behind the Beetlejuice. <laughs> that is a point for everyone. That is correct. Uh, the uh, mythical, uncountable bonus, bonus point in that uh, I also wrote down hand whammy here. <laughs> oh. uh, but she did also, uh, she was... Uh, uh, she was vaping during the performance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heavily. Was, yeah, was uh, loudly and obnoxiously talking to the person she was with and taking selfies. And yes, she was super rude to the people while being kicked out. She, there's a security camera footage of her flipping them off while they're like, please go away. And finally, taking it to our side of the border, how does Pierre probably have to keep, keep repeatedly saying electricity comes from? Team behind the Denny's. I swear I've heard him say this. Electricians pull it out of the sky. What? Yes. <laughs> I swear I've heard him say they need to hire more electricians so they can pull more electricity out of the sky. That's the most baffling nonsense I've ever heard. Yeah. That's correct. Yes! <laughs> he has repeatedly, repeatedly praised the hardworking electricians who pull, who quote, capture lightning from the sky and run it through a copper wire into your house. Somehow sort of missing a, a whole industry, really. 
Team survivorship bias? What did you have? Which is why we wrote lightning. Lightning? Mm -hmm. oh. That's acceptable. <laughs> team oh. winning team? I wrote burning coal makes the power lines hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid not. I had no idea he was so like keen on renewable energy. Right. Yeah. What I think yeah. is what I think is very telling is that uh, this just goes to show that he thinks so little of the trades that he has to pretend like electricians harness the very lightning to talk them up enough that he can go look at how amazing these electricians are. Yeah. It's like, no, electricians are great and they do a good job anyway. You don't need to blow smoke up their ass. Yeah, they they would Percy probably Jackson. consider that not to code. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. The, the per oh, sorry, go no, ahead. No, no, go ahead. They're not Percy Jackson. Right, <laughs> that's great. There you I go, I was yeah. gonna say that plumbers are called that because all of the lead pipes go straight to Hades. Yeah. 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 Uh, very <laughs> courageous work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let us leave that silliness behind us and move on to the music round. Oh, no. <laughs> Kathleen has been saying to me that 2023 was a crap year for music. And I said it was a mid-year for music. Oh, I'm sorry. A mid-year for music. For Con considering, though, that Rolling Stone and Pitchfork both agree that the best album of 2023 came out in 2022, uh, she might be onto something. Pitch who? Yeah, <laughs> too soon. Rip, rip pitchfork. Oh. Next year, Corey. Uh, regardless, here's the music round. Uh, no publication that makes a 2023 list. Oh, it was uh, SZA, by the way. Um, the, 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 uh, that album, SOS, came out in 20, uh. December 2022, and it's the number one album of 2023 on both Rolling Stone and Pitchfork. There you go. All right. No publication that makes a 2023 list can agree on best album of the year, but... What sophomore album appears on Pitchfork's list at number 14, Rolling Stones at number 5, NME's at number 2, and Billboard's editorially curated list at number 1? So sophomore is second year, right? Correct. I always get this wrong because yeah. it's an American yeah. yeah. So whose second album is on Pitchfork at 14, Rolling Stone at 5, NME at 2, and Billboard's at number 1? Do you at least have a tiny answer? I don't think I ever heard of music. Taylor yeah. Swift's re-release. I bet Beach you're right. Beach you know, right. doesn't listen to music. No. And I only listen to music that's at least five Stop. years old. No, like, like, I, I, like I'm always saying, yeah. I only listen to music that makes me feel like I'm in a Japanese department store. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's the same, it's like a series of like 15 songs that intercut with a, a, a five minute jingle over and over. I really should have more people telling me about what fish sales are over top of my smooth jazz, yeah. but I do like my smooth jazz. I'm surprised that there isn't a Don Quixote Spotify channel that just does that. <laughs> that seems like a really good idea. Next music question. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gotta write something down. Much to my sadness, it is possible that the music video is a dying art form. It is also impossible to get useful statistics for YouTube. Uh, but I did manage to find a list of the top viewed music videos, importantly, that were also themselves released in 2023. Uh. So you can get a point for naming any artist in the top 10. Uh, of what? Of music, of be most viewed music videos on YouTube that were the, where the video was released in 2023. <laughs> I can, I can right. give, I can give some hints. Yes. One of these artists is from, is from America. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Including, oh, including yes. that artist. Three of them have had yeah. uh, I don't know. major hits God. in America one of the other two as part of a different group. I don't know if that's helpful or not. <laughs> Is there like some sort of Despacito equivalent that we're not thinking of that we could be doing here? Like, is there, is a there, Despacito is, equivalent. World, is there world music that we are, we are ignoring? Sparkling Montero? feels good. <laughs> Actually, yeah, just put Lil Nas X. It's probably true, right? Sure. So I tried to look for like uh, the music videos on YouTube that got the most views in 2023, and none of them are from 2023. Hmm. The the uh, the the long shadow cast by the uh, Paul Walker's farewell anthem by Wiz Khalifa mm -hmm. from the Fast movies. That hmm. thing's still doing astounding numbers. 
There's an Ed Sheeran song that's still getting huge views. Like, got more views this year than any of the uh, the, the this music that was released this year. Wow. Does yeah. Thriller still still make the list? I don't. Well, not on ones I saw. Mm. Okay. Anyway. 2023 saw the oldest artist ever to have a number one hit on the Billboard 100 65 years after their song's original release. Can you name the 79-year-old artist? I see her. Or their song. Wait, 65-year-old? No, 79-year-old artist. This, the, song was 65, the song was released 65 years before hitting number one. This year, well, so interesting the structure of that sentence. Yeah, so how, don't that wasn't. Know. It's not meant to be tricky. Mm. Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to get you on it. That's okay. Right. I'm trying to think of the math. Sixty-five years from now takes us back okay, to great. late seventies, mid seventies, late fifties, late fifties. Yes, <clears throat> that sounds right. Something like that. Yeah. Wait a minute. All I can think of, all I can think of, is Eartha Kitt dish, singing "Santa Baby." <laughs> <laughs> Stop sharing our answers. That sounds, that sounds like what goes on in my brain. Yeah. And finally, in the music round, this is barely a music question, but look, Taylor Swift was everywhere in 2023. Well, except, except Canada. Then our prime minister literally tweeted about it to complain, and now she is doing shows in Canada. Well, six shows in Toronto until we complained more, and now also. Three shows in Vancouver. So yeah, it's a pretty normal one up here in Canada. Anyway, who did she break up with in April 2023? Oh. In April? Ooh. James chuckling. <laughs> it's a, I'm crushing it's a you, know? okay. you, you have a play you next year. Something for this. Yeah, something for this. Oh god, what is his fucking name? Yeah, I, I <laughs> so, only okay. learned his name recently I because think... this happened. <laughs> No. Because I, mm, I thought they were still oh, seeing each other through like into the fall, so I might have had this completely wrong. But we're we'll just put down a name. Yeah, we're gonna put down a name. <laughs> also, it's somebody that James knows. So. Lawrence in chat says, according to George Santos, it was George Santos. Yeah. I was say, well, oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> if we had nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the same answer. <laughs> no, they're still writing. <laughs> I'm telling a rich narrative story. Good. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Yeah, we have her newer box text. <laughs> fair. No, fair. that's what I call TikTok number six. <laughs> oh, my God, I remembered his name. I thought about him long enough. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, on the back of that, let's go back to the beginning of the music round. What sophomore album was on Pitchfork's list at number 14, Rolling Stones at number 5, Enemies at number 2, and Billboard's at number 1? It must be at least decent. Team winning team, what did you say? Uh, we wrote Guts by Olivia Rodrigo in James's handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't see the handwriting from here, so I would never have known. Uh, team Survivorship Bias, what did you say? Uh, I wanted to say the Taylor's version of Red. Mm. Did that come out this year? Yes. Is that the right answer? No. Maybe. <laughs> Team oh. Behind the Denny's? That album, all the kids keep ripping clips of to use on uh, TikTok? That might also be true, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the answer is Olivia Rodrigo's Guts. Yeah. Woo! So Thanks, James, James gets a point. Yeah, James gets one point. Yeah. <laughs> I bet she, she got huge sales. I bet she has huge guts. Huge guts. <laughs> huge guts. Can anyone name any artist that released a music video that was... <laughs> that, can, Ever. Let's just end the sentence there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you a music video? I've been watching uh, Idols. Okay. Cool. All right. Now. Team Behind the Denny's. What oh. did you write down? Little Nas Christ. Little Nas Christ. Team Survivorship Bias. Uh, Dimin Little Nas 10. Diminutive <laughs> Network <laughs> Attack Storage 10. <laughs> Winning he team. He didn't put out any. That This year is his album. Yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yes. He said Skibbity Toilet or Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> what That's, I'm That's, surprised sure about you that. You can't say Skibbity Toilet's not a music video. Counting down from 10. <laughs> Que Personas featuring Onda Sabanera, oh, okay. Fade Young Miko, Yasobi, Jisoo from Blackpink, Yasobi, Era Bayasola, Shakira, 
Check no her shit. Out. Good yep. for her. Miley Cyrus. Oh. oh. Grupo Frontera. Oh, I'm sorry. Grupo Frontera and Bad Bunny. Yes! Oh my god. That is a point for you. Good job. Uh, Ying Lucas and Young Lucas, I think, and Peso Pluma. It's a lot of Spanish language work yeah, here. Yeah. And number one, Carol G and Shakira. Shakira had a good year. Hey. Whoa, just for my own personal edification, what was, do you have the, uh, the the songs that got? Uh, uh, I don't know how to read the uh, the name the Yasoba. Can you the just, Yasobi one? Can you describe Yasobi? the kanji? Uh, <laughs> how many are there? Hang on, let me see if I can load it. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, then we'll get content matched. There's four characters. I don't know. Probably idol do, yep. Yeah, it's probably idol do. We'll get points for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is worth it for everybody. 2023, you saw the oldest artist who ever uh, to get a billboard number one, and I asked you to name the artist and then see of blank expressions. I said, or the song, heck with it. Why not? Team behind the Denny's? The woman who sang Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree? The woman who sang Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Survivorship bias? I'm going to go with uh, Bobby Pickett and or the Crypt Kicker 5. <laughs> it's important. To a lot of people forget the Crypt Kicker 5. Really team winning team. We think her name's Brenda Lee or something like that. Her I'm, name I'm, is I'm Brenda Lee and Christmas the song was, was Rockin' Around the Christmas oh, Tree. Yay. Nice, nice. That's a point. Oh, damn. All right, well, high five them. <laughs> That's a point for our two outermost teams. Good job. Thank you, Peach. And finally, in the music round. Taylor Swift was everywhere in 2023, etc., etc. Jokes about Canada. Uh, I think some people in this room actually have tickets to go see her in uh, Vancouver. No? No, it's just like a million dollars. Yeah. No? Oh, I thought they were in the. Someone got through the the lottery and then uh -huh. said no. I don't know. Friends we know did. Friend, we have friends who did. Okay, none of us did. Uh, Johnny glitched in chat, so she broke up with me, and I'm so sad. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, but it's it's gonna make a great song. Uh, My apologies to your tulpa. Team survivorship bias. What did you write down? David something? David something. That's a reasonable guess. S Dave, maybe it's worth yeah, half yeah. a point. Uh, winning team? Actually, wait. I want to come back to winning team because you wrote a screed. Team, uh, <laughs> team behind the Denny's. They seem certain I am not. Travis Kelsey is at no, one point was yeah, in was in Taylor Swift's that's her orbit. Current. Yeah. Yeah, she is currently, still dating. Yeah, currently with Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Great. He can't, he can't spell squirrel. Aww. And it's really sweet, Aww. apparently. Doesn't that mean that he's a, a, a German double agent? Possibly. <laughs> but she's wearing a lot of, like, jewelry from Etsy. So I need, like, three, three glasses for my party, that kind of thing. <laughs> the theory is that uh, he's buying her jewelry that has words on it because he knows she likes words. Aww. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a fair... That's... Wow, he that's... He never buys me words. <laughs> You're getting so many dictionaries, Corey. <laughs> team yeah. winning team, Corey and Kathleen, what did you come up with? I would take a complete Oxford English dictionary. It yeah. seems useful. They're illegal in Florida now. <laughs> <laughs> right, because they mentioned sex. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I remember who this was, but I didn't remember who it was. I just have this vivid image because I read a pop bitch item about him soliciting dates from women and then like spending that night with them and then taking them out for a walk in the park the next day and then just booking it and running away from them. And <laughs> 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 Damn! Gone through the bushes. Which to me honestly seems like a good way to deal with things that you don't want to deal with. Just hit the bricks. Yeah, he just hit the bricks. He's pretty confident he can outrun them. But while I was thinking about that, I realized I was thinking about Paul Mescal. I am sorry to report. No! <laughs> that, uh, and some people were also thinking about Matty Healy, but that was a very brief fling with Matty Healy earlier in the year. She broke up with Joe Alwyn, with whom she was together for six years. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. I, that, this is a true story about Paul Mescal, though. I just kind of... <laughs> 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 I just get mixed up with another guy. <laughs> Somewhere, some guy out here is doing this. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that was an option when you date somebody. <laughs> it's just... really funny. <laughs> You're no longer dating them when you do that. I just, I want to, maybe I'll see if Heather wants to go for a walk in the park and we'll have a foot race. Oh, it's, it, it, it's, it makes it clear and unambiguous what you are doing. <laughs> yeah.
Apparently, Paul Mescal was dating Phoebe Bridgers. Oh. Wow. Imagine thinking you could but outrun broke... Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> <laughs> she broke up with him to date Bo Burnham. Really? Yes. And I believe they are still an item. Why do I know this? Yeah. Do you know any of these people? No. I have a whole section of my brain. Oh, you know who Bo Burnham is. You should watch yeah. Fleabag. It's good. Oh. Mm. Mm. That... That's Phoebe Waller Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Different Phoebe? Yes. There's two of them? Phoebe Bridgers. There's and Phoebe Bridgers and Phoebe Waller Bridge. Yeah. Man. Yeah. There's one that's more Bridgers. I would need to run other. away from that hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I was like, I love you in solo, and she's like, that is not a Boy Genius album. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Well, we are halfway through the quiz. It's all, I don't know, is it uphill or downhill from here? Who knows? But for the meantime, we're going to take a quick break. Please enjoy these this recent batch of Loading Ready Run highlights. We'll be right back with more Big Mid Quiz after this. A true fire captain? I'm going to cast a frilled mystic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I knew. I knew. I knew there was a second one. For it to be the name of the deck, yeah. there has to be at least two. Yeah. yeah. There might be three. Go ahead. I'm rude. I don't know if I'm three frilled mystics rude. Frilled mystic? <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Homing lightning! Four damage to target creature and each other creature. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! I missed mystics! Ooh! Oh, cool. Oh, oh. no! I just assumed you had me with how, that level one. I don't one know how that missed. I can't believe that missed. That's fucking hilarious. He sucks, dude. <laughs> what a character. <laughs> this character sucks. That's a big old dripstone cave. Holy moly. Really putting the hole into holy moly there. Damn. <laughs> Hi-oh. Hi -oh. Where's the shapeshifter? Wait, what? Newsflash! All my friends are dead. Sir Jaeger story. Oh, I'm coming. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> fucking stupid ass fucking nutcracker. I hate Christmas. Fuck you. Oh, shift oh, E? Oh shit! I broke it! I fixed it! I broke it again! Of course the engine's incompatible. You're a person, not a helicopter. What the fuck is going on in this raid? <laughs> what the fuck? What? I got killed by a Mosin, apparently. I got killed by the real Tony Hawk. I got killed by bad poops. I'm alive. <laughs> Actually, Ali's training was not even that bad. Oh, get in. <laughs> oh, he just made the exact same noise. <laughs> It's it's because Gonti's here. Is this the caress as well? No, this is the kiss. Harlequin's kiss. That, I think that was the one I was thinking of. You like... <laughs> and then they die. I was kind of sad that I didn't have my own intro song, so I, I ripped off the one that Beach did that one time, but now it's mine. I did this. To the town! Who's <laughs> Flash? The evil red wizardess taps Blood Sand Glade. She needs two minutes. Uh, please ignore my missing skull. It's all empty up there. What? Oh, 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 I see. Oh, yeah. oh. Isn't that, the, isn't that the spooky stuff? What is that? The lines? Those, the, those, right? Those are bad, right? Are they? Yeah, I think what? they are. Why are they I mean, bad? That's just, that's just wire. No, that's not. All right, so there's a battery over here. There's a lamp over here. My hands are so full. Yeah, I'm full. There's flasks, there's pickles. Um, but in addition, the there's the fire exit right here. Yeah. All right, let's get outside. Let's get outside. Let's get paid. <laughs> Sure, the graphics look like ass, but at least it's not woke. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
not even true because you can you can the main menu lets you choose male or female protagonist so that's not even true someone came in and had a nap on the computer that could be anyone but it is a nice dark environment for uh oh well, yeah there's a lot of people who probably do it yep okay who hangs out at the office a lot mm. The question is who would who would use these chairs for a nap though, and I think that rules out a good number of people as well. I think it's pistachio. <laughs> no, hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. This is the only room in the moon base where, for one, there's one exit, one entrance, so very easy to seal off from his puppet <laughs> counterparts yes, who yes, are yes. definitely maybe not the nicest. A little him. more hostile, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a little more hostile than he was. And also, there's a bunch of cameras that he can quickly turn the stream on and ask for help if he needs it. Right, yeah. There's, there's evidence. There's a way to make evidence happen. Did they already finish this game on Talking Sim? Are they done with this one? Uh, Talking Sim doesn't finish over. games, from my understanding. What the fuck? What are we paying them for? <laughs> They'll try to tell you that you can't drink the water inside your air conditioning, but that water is yours. You own it. The government can't tell you not to drink it. Well, they can, but you, they can't stop you. Yeah, exactly. Once you pop that baby open, it's all yours. Yep. Mm. It's because it's liquid, it's covered by admiralty law. Uh-oh. This one looks like it's having a bit of a death yoga moment. It's really uncomfortable, but I guess he's... Oh, no, I see you're also... You've also all joined in. So that makes... Based on this layout, you're the instructor, and this is the class. Slow attendance, but I'm sure you'll get there. Go all the way to the left, uh -huh. and you'll drop down. Oh, yeah. And then go back to the right, and just keep going, and you're going to fall down a hole. Oh. Woo! Oh. There's oh. a hole! Oh. Oh. You found coming the coming soon, soon content. Nice. <laughs> How did you find that? Are you just really falling well, you... on a hole? <laughs> yeah. he, he, has, well, he has a talent, well, Graham. Well, yeah. Graham. Let me All tell right. you something. But imagine if the ground wasn't bright white. This right? is me uh, taking it. Sniper scab See, yeah. Got him. Bye. <laughs> you don't need to clap so loud. You clap her. You wrecked her. her. <laughs> How dare yeah. you? My thunderclap destroyed your model? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, come to my mouth. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, uh, um, awesome. awards. Did I get it? No! I killed it and then a rock fell on me! I didn't kill it. Ah, oh, man, why did I greet again? I do have these for each of us to open. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, it's going to make it all come together. <laughs> Not to add to your deck. Oh, oh, no. I mean, if you do we want? Yeah. Yes. Okay. A pop quiz for you. How much HP do guilty your characters have? Because it's the same. All characters technically have the same HP. If you, they all you have know the, the same. Answer. You know the answer. I you know, know the, the answer. answer. You know the answer. Thousand? You know the answer. Trust me. I'll give you like one more chance. You're going to you're going to be you're going to be so mad at yourself when you don't get it. Uh, I believe no. 500 420. No, <laughs> I'm, not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. No way. Not kidding. That's every, not real. You're lying to me. No, that... no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Kill the zombie or move him. <laughs> That's not the way to move him, you dumbass. <laughs> I should be the banker, at least according to J.K. Rowling. So, do what I spare. <laughs> uh, uh, and <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna scooch it over to a different water. The deep dark water. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! Jesus. Oh. What? Bye. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, I don't. Good night, I, don't James. I don't have just one button that plunges me into inky darkness. So you don't uh, have a darkness button? Oh, I highly recommend it. a darkness. Yeah, you got. Button. You got to get yourself a darkness button. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Ooh. 
Graham. Oh, my birthday's Get a you. darkness button, Graham. <laughs> oh, my God. Join us in the dark side. Hello, screen of darkness. This seems abnormally long. Game? Game. Hello. I only ever get that when it's been like a game like that or a game where I've been absolutely dumpstered. And then you're just like, Rrr. and Arena's like, did you like that? Did you like, like what just happened yeah. to you? Did you enjoy getting absolutely dismantled? I'm like, no, no, I didn't really. Somewhere Arena's algorithm is like, yeah, he did. Just wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, come, to, come this way. Yeah. All right, come now, come now. You're fine, you're fine. I'm on. Okay, now. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> there's not even like a little loading doodad. Yeah, okay. You are correct. Whoa, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say you cut your bullets. I didn't want to distract you, but I, I saw you shoot a lot, not reload a lot, and I know it's only got five rounds. The captured children! The captive children zone! They discovered that a bomb had been planted in the secular church but they failed all their checks to identify what it was. Uh, so they picked it up and carried it around. Right? Ro rolled a natural one, dropped it, and in like the very, the second session, killed their animal companion. For those not with cameras in the room, Heather did hit the button after my ooh -ee in the appropriate the, time. Keep the timing. Another jungle creeper, get in. Another jungle creeper, get in. Welcome aboard, friend. Carely minus if you're a coward. Yep. That's actually true. Ooh. Minus frames are a state of mind. If people don't have a turn one play, things are going to get very bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tempest has it. It's Tempest Walker's last okay. one. Okay. Did you just? Oh, no. Is that all right? Oh, he's listening to starboard. <laughs> I picked up my tea, and the coaster was still attached, stuck to the bottom of the mug. Classic. Until it was directly, directly above open. my genitals. Oh. All right, I, James. Uh, let's see it, buddy. Oh, there's skeletons you know, there. By... There it is. That is the cobweb right there. That's what I need. Uh huh. Can you get to it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need to. I <laughs> if I get aggro by a skeleton, I'm screwed. Oh crap. Oh, stop. It's night time. No! I'm gonna die. I gotta go. 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 I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. You just have to just have to have it in your hand. Got it! Got it! You need to pick it up first. Got you need it. to pick it up. Come on! I got it! I got it! I drew two Mesa Pegasus. Now who's the Pegasus? Who's the Pega the Pegasize? Who's now who's the Pega guy? Who who wants the Pega guy? Watch and breathe. Stand against the devil! It's Stand live. It's devil. a computer Watch and breathe. Do we just stack two? Oh no! Watch and breathe. Wait. <laughs> Watch and breathe. Stand against Stand the devil! Against the devil. Watch it breathe. Go from the leafies into the greenies, and then the greenies into the goodbye zone. Mm. Honestly, going greenies into goodbye zone might also be my evening. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> honk shoot, honk shoot. Oh, I'm just gonna turn this back on again. 
You ever have a game so afraid of you that it just quits on you? And the Shanathan with that nice 64. Prime number. An even number, that's weird. <laughs> Why would it be? Why would it be? Because it's not, I'm it's lying. not, it's not. I'm lying. It's not. It's just legs. Yes, because the thought fell off. Oh, okay. Is that what I did? That's what I was complaining about, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I made her top fall off. That's a really cool psychic power there. Uh, Here, go, everyone go, in chat, did your top fall off too? Go <laughs> go join some sort of Izakai anime and be a farmer or something. <laughs> Whatever it is you like, get out of my head. <laughs> go become a farmer is the most wonderful insult I've heard all week. <laughs> Not to brag, uh, we beat somebody that went Mox, Mox Lotus. Healing salve? Wait, no, 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 no. I wasn't bragging. I wasn't bragging. I literally started with not to brag. Super dead Smurf. Hey, thanks for the 46 months. I never really thought about that, that yeah, the Smurfs probably die, don't they? <laughs> what? Like they do. Oh yeah, we have a siege rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was just so, so out of left field. It's like, oh. man. Smurfs die, yeah? They do. Angel has, has kindly accepted my invitation uh, the last 45 minutes to join me here. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't have a slideshow today, which makes me feel so unprepared. See, that's why I didn't want to ask you yesterday, because then you just make a slideshow. I would have. Oh, Wait. okay. Okay, that's Wait, a mimic. Uh, that's definitely no a mimic. Way. Good luck. No way. Oh, fuck. It is so easy to just fuck. <laughs> Fucking told his ass, dude. There it is. Turn around. That's it. Now this There's two oceans. This is the sub ocean. I. This is where that came from exquisite. originally. Who is it? That's why we call it that. The original sub ocean. Yep. The OG. I kind of want to see. Okay, but like, what's off here? Uh, only d <laughs> a different dirt ground. I forgot about that. Do you like City of Heroes? You should. Wait, City of Heroes. You I should probably take I mean, your. I, I know that I know. Should probably take your back like... medicine. But <laughs> it's uh, time to put Grandpa Jacob to bed. It's past his bedtime. We gotta give him some tea and a shawl. So. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> this works out perfectly. Great. Been meaning to put that away. Yeah. So I'm glad it's, yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, my children. Good night. Good night. Mm. Honk shoe. The, all the fucking kids in our Twitch chat are SOBs. They're all little <laughs> what? SOBs. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're all fucking SOBs. They're sweeties of bead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. Saved it. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. They're super. Oh, are or some. They're our super awesome some boys. Boys. <laughs> They're not all boys. Super awesome people. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Big Mid Quiz of 2023. Hopefully you enjoyed those highlights. We did, and it got me in the mood for some video games. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if anyone actually finishes video games, but we sure do start them a lot. So here is a quick sub round of gaming music, specifically main menu music. Oh. I'm going to play you. Well, Paul is going to play you. We are going to, you will listen to five examples of video game main menu music and uh, you can use one card for this just write down write down all five and you can potentially get a stonk of points here oh, uh here's a hint there are no nintendo games because uh, i wanted to use some what are you doing to our team <laughs> i was afraid of getting demonetized <laughs> yes oh. good instincts even the third party i mean highly legal website that i was using to download music from youtube videos said i can't download these and i was like wow nintendo must put the fear into them too illegal for even those people yeah so all right number one i should say these games all came out in 2023 in case that wasn't clear Problem 
new Skyrim. <laughs> That Smeagol game. Damn it! You stole my answer. <laughs> I was gonna say gold. Uh, That's not a bad guess. Did it come out this year? Oh, I'm sorry, 2023. That's probably the best guess. Is it the other one? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Why not? I'm not going to say no. Right, everyone's writing so we can move on to the second one. We're not being judged on our humor, so... <laughs> Thank God. Sounds like some sort of JRPG nonsense. This is like not Elden yeah. Ring. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Elden Ring. Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. <laughs> Elden oh Bay. God. Oh, I did, but the. Not the See, this is the thing game. about main menus: is when you're playing the game, you just try to get through it as quickly as possible. He nailed it. Number three. <laughs> Also, completely bereft of context. You're just testing if we have any Pavlovian responses. I think, I think this is an indie game about depression. So an indie game. <laughs> okay, I haven't played it, but it's. It, it that sounds like a good bet. How close can we get to the Destiny maybe music without actually using it? <laughs> I feel like. Man, right, I can't wait until the team finally comes out. I, I, I really don't know, but that sounds alright. Number four. Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Did Abba put out a game? Yeah, there's a bit of that, doesn't it? Do you remember a single video game that came out last year? Because I like, was there an Exorcist game? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the full class game. This is like, God, what is that roguelike that everyone told me to play where you're a spaceship? Oh, <laughs> oh narrow it down? FTL. Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? Yeah. yeah. And number five. If you clean up, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> say that for any complaints that folks had about the state of AAA gaming this year, it's it's not it's not on the musicians. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to run through that round first before we do the rest of the video game questions on account okay. of cool. on account of there's there's five of them and we want to deal with it while they're fresh. So, do you have all five written down? We have five answers on our. Team. You do. Yes. Did the other teams? <laughs> all right. Some last minute changes. Brooking some discussion, which is fine. All right. Team... Wait, Survivorship Bias is still writing. Yeah. I think they've got answers. All right, team winning team. Oh, all right. Okay, what? give us your uh, Give us your one through five. Uh, Gollum, question mark. Lies of P, question mark. Baldur's Gate, question mark. <laughs> sea of Stars, question mark. Uh, Jedi Order. Or whatever the Star Wars game that came out this year was. Mm. Like Jedi Knight 2. Something. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Team survivorship bias. We also went with Gollum. Mm -hmm. uh, Elden Rung. Uh -huh. <laughs> Starfield. Which feels right. World Rally Championship. Which is a game I knew came out this year. 
And, <laughs> uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Interesting. Okay. And team behind the Denny's. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Uh -huh. Probably not that year, actually. Baldur's Gate 3. Mm -hmm. Lies of P. Mm -hmm. Sea of Stars. Oh. And mm -hmm. then Gollum. And then Gollum. And then Gollum. Mm, Interesting. Then Gollum. So now I have to figure out, because there are two teams that got the correct, that got games that were on that list in the wrong places. Oh, okay. the numbers off. Then the answers are wrong. Yeah, yeah. Then, then so those wrong. answers are wrong, which I think means that each team gets, gets zero. one point. Wow. Oh. I think. Let me just see. So uh, let me see winning team again. Uh, Gollum. So Gollum, is, that's not correct. Okay. Uh, then you had. Liza P. Not correct. Baldur's Gate. Not correct. Sea of Stars. Correct! Yes! Woo! Number four was Sea of Stars. And number five was not Jedi Order. Uh, team Survivorship Bias? Gollum. Uh, nope. Elden Ring. Nope. Starfield. Nope. World Rally Championship. Nope. And Star Wars Force Unleashed. Oh, also no, I'm you afraid. Can't, you can't do this on number four when you know that they got Sea of Stars correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've all in our answers, Beach. You can't be surprised that WRC is not number four. <laughs> I'm barely literate. Uh, and team, team, team Denny's? We know we got one of them right now. Uh, right. You did get Sea of Stars correct, and yes, that is also your point. So number one was Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. Uh, yeah. Number two, Kathleen, you said some kind of JRPG nonsense. Yeah, but yeah. then I was Did you like... not hear the prelude we've been listening to for decades in there? That was Final Fantasy 16. Wow. How did I, I not get play that game? It I know, bad. but no, but the, you can you can faintly hear the Final Fantasy prelude in the background of that. Mm. Number three was Spider-Man 2. Uh, what? Huh. Yeah. Number four was Sea of Stars, and number five was Starfield. Oh. Okay. To be fair, many people in chat, upon hearing Spider-Man 2, were like, oh, this is Starfield. Absolutely Starfield, 100%. And then when Starfield came up, they were like, uh-oh, what have we done? Yeah. <laughs> what if you just put Starfield for all five, chat? I, I, but I'm, then you'd get a point. Yeah. Hmm. I, I'm happy that like the one video game I've seen being played uh, is the one we got right, though. It was the only one yes. I've encountered. I have not been playing Spider-Man for several weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the next, to the rest of our video game questions. This has been an amazing year for video games, uh, in the same way 2022 was a banner year for music, and I think that that's what happens when everyone releases their pandemic projects all at once. Uh, but while the games were new, not all of the ideas were. Can you tell me, this is such an impossible question, can you tell me either of the two games in Metacritic's top 10 of 2023 that were not sequels, remakes, or DLC. That's not the, wait, hold up. There it is. Oh, it's not a big, yeah. in the top, top 10? In I've their top 10. Another, there it is. I briefly lost internet connection. It was yes. their top 10. Yeah. So according to Metacritic, which of course is the oh. review aggregator. Was it good enough to make your top 10? I mean, it has to be of that year. I mean, it's, right? it's, 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 it's yeah. 2020. Yeah. yeah. So it's a game that came out in 2023, yeah. 2023 release, sure. but the two that were not, Probably not sequels or remakes, or there is one on there that's technically DLC for a game that came out like a year or two ago. The Last of, the last of Us 2 Remastered. <laughs> DLC. I, I was reading about The Last of Us 2 Remastered for a, uh, for a yeah. checkpoint story, and I was having trouble keeping track of, like, so that's a second part of a remake remastered? No, is it the second game? What? what? Why Just does this exist? put a different number on it, God! <laughs> yeah. Next question. Literally, nobody can or should be expected to keep on top of who or what is in Fortnite. Mm. Ever oh. since we did that checkpoint story about how people felt it might be in bad taste to load into the Martin Luther King experience while looking at a Rick and Morty loading screen, uh, we've known that it was going to be just sort of a preposterous hellscape. But who is not part of that hellscape? Specifically, who of the following did not get added as a Fortnite skin in 2023? Piccolo from Dragon Ball. Anakin from Star Wars. Becky Lynch from WWE. Philip Fry from Futurama. Lionel Messi, Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia, Eminem, Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles, or The Weeknd. Who of those people oh, 
people or characters did not get added to Fortnite in 2023. Point of order. Yes. Could they have been added? In a, are any of these from years before that did get added? The, these are all, new, according to the Fortnite website, these are all new additions in 2023. So, there's one in here that is not in Fortnite whatsoever. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, that oh, sorry. Question. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. This is not a. I'm not trying to. These questions are hard, but I'm not yes. trying to get you. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, fair. It's you know these the uh, the the uh, the odd one out here is not in Fortnite at all. All right. <clears throat> I have another screen, so go to us last. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lionel Messi. That sounds is good. Rookie is Eminem is Leonardo. I think it is. And finally, for the video games round, Probably. just like last year with Elden Ring. The highest peak on Twitch for a game released within that calendar year was number 15. <laughs> There's a lot of games that are really holding on mm. to the top spot. So according to Sully Gnome, the same website I used previously, because you can't really get this info from Twitch, uh, what game hit that peak? What 2023 game hit the highest viewership rank on Twitch? Because of course number one was just chatting still, and then you've got like League and Valorant and all that other stuff. So what game released in 2023 hit the highest rank, which was number 15, on Twitch viewership. That feels like, feels like it's going to be true, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yes. Go for yes. Go for answers that feel true. Yeah, yeah exactly. Precisely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The truthiness. I, yeah. We too subsist on vibes. <laughs> the sheer truthiness of it all. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm kind of hungry too, oh, actually. Go for yeah. something yeah. to eat. Jesus. That's a good time for a snack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've, does anybody want uh, some pickles or some meat? Mm, meat. Meat. Mm. Mm. You've got ham and mortadella and whatever the other thing is. What I brought some gulab jamun. Oh, good. I'll have some of that. I just have wine yeah, gum. I'll pass that along there. I'll have some of that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I... Did you not bring a snack? No, I got water. <laughs> we, we, we got some gulab for you. Would you like a pickle? I would. No, thank you, but I'd love a piece of gulab jamun. Um, all right. I'll walk it over to him. Okay. What, uh, what? Oh. So syrupy. <laughs> what two games in Metacritic's top 10 are not mm. remakes, sequels, or DLC? Team uh, winning team. Um, Mouthful of Golub. They said Lies of Peep or maybe like Vampire Survivors because I think it was like an early access game that didn't come out until 2023. All right. Fair guesses. Team Survivorship bias. Lies of Peep. And the Vampire Survivor. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Well, the teams are different compatible at least. But are the answers correct? We'll find out after we check in with Behind the Denny's. I wrote in both of these because I was just guessing and Beach didn't really help know. Uh, sea of Stars and Liza P. So, crushingly, you're all incorrect. Mm. Aww. But I'll tell you what is on the top ten list. This is again, this is a this is a a review aggregator. So the top ten list, this is not the order, but Baldur's Gate 3. Mm. Yeah. Tears of the Kingdom, Metroid Prime Remastered, Resident Evil 4, which is both a sequel and a remake, <laughs> Super Mario Wonder, Street Fighter 6, Asgard, Asgard's Wrath 2, and the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed DLC. Wow. And the two non-sequel, non-remake, non-DLC games were Turbo Overkill and Against the Storm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Storm's okay. There you go. Uh, who's not in Fortnite? Team Survivorship Bias. Hmm. Well, usually, Gallup Jamin's better warm, isn't it? You, you, no, no, it's, it's fine at all. No. Mm -hmm. Usually, when you ask this question, with this person involved, you're talking about Dr. Dre, who's locked up in a basement. Mm. But in this time, I think we have to say it's Marshall Mathers. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, team uh, Behind the Denny's. The Wookend. The Wookend. Wookend. Ladies and gentlemen. And team, winning team. We also said The weekend because I said he was too busy making that critically reviled HBO show. Ah. I never got why people hated it because he was such a dweeb in it. <laughs> um, it was, it <laughs> was like, like... he was so clearly like, 
just a giant loser. Yeah. I think it was mainly because of, like, the gratuitous sex scenes and, like, the male gaze that even the 1970s would have been like, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I that was the entire point of it, was that it was so, like... Lurid? Yeah. <laughs> so is it Shoto? Uh, no. So mm -hmm. let me tell you who is in the game. Piccolo, yeah. mm -hmm. Anakin Skywalker, mm -hmm. Becky Lynch, uh -huh. Philip J. Fry, right. Shota Todoroki, oh. Leonardo from the from Ninja Turtles. Weirdly, The Weeknd is in the game Aww. twice, both at, both as The Weeknd and as Starboy. Mm -hmm. Lionel Messi is not at present in Fortnite, despite many requests That's and great. that is fantastic. Fake ups and 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 various things that people have done to get to to try to get Messi into Fortnite. Now, here's the funny thing. You, <laughs> Team Survivorship Bias goofed themselves out of a potential bonus point here because if you had said Eminem was not in Fortnite, I would have accepted that because Indiana Jones and Han Solo are in Fortnite, but we yeah. accept that Harrison Ford is not in Fortnite, right? Right. Eminem is not in Fortnite. Mother. Marshall Mathers, Slim Why did you Shady, write that? and Rap Boy are in Fortnite. Why did you write that because that I, way? Because I don't know who Lionel Messi is. <laughs> he plays baseball. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to baseball. I'm dying. <laughs> he, plays, he plays baseball for Uruguay. Where's, where's Uruguay? That's a Pele. Oh my god. I can't think of Ronaldo. Uh, oh boy. And finally, what 2023 game reached the highest viewership rank on Twitch? And boy, chat had a bunch of suggestions. They were like, oh, it's obviously this, it's obviously this. They were all wrong, so I can't wait to find out what happens in the room. Uh, Team Denny's. Lethal Company. Lethal Company. Let's check in with survivorship bias. <laughs> BG3 and team winning team? Call of Duty Annual Edition. As in whatever <laughs> Call of Duty came out this year. Oh, yeah. It was Diablo 4. What? what? They was... made a Diablo 4? <laughs> it's a game that came out this year. Yep. Yeah, for about 15 minutes, I bet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It, it, it did not get, it didn't stay there long. Get it had eight. a massive launch. Yeah. So, there we go. Beach is having a massive launch, take, so I guess we're all, uh, I'll, I'll all of me. We're going to move on now to less interactable entertainment. It's movies! <laughs> this is the hilarious intro for the movies segment. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> it was late in the day. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans was shut out at the 2023 Oscars, but at least he got David Lynch to cameo as Hollywood director John Ford. Lynch, as a reminder for those unfamiliar, is a deeply weird guy who doesn't really need the money. So what did he ask for in exchange for appearing in this cameo? Do we have an actual answer? <laughs> Extra consideration. Do you have an answer? Is that a cut joke, one? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Me too. Twelve penguins wear both. This is one of my... <laughs> One of my favorite bizarre tales that came out in 2023. Yes. I would say, oh, nice for Steven Spielberg to try and translate this. Bliss, I guess. <laughs> I love that. I just what I love about this question is right or if they get it right or wrong, Cameron's gonna love the quote that I have for this. Oh. Okay. Next up, The Shine is clearly off superhero movies. They've not been bad movies, and they've not even been doing badly at the box office, despite what hordes of YouTubers like to claim for clicks. But they're not the cultural touchstones that they seemed to be for a few years, in some cases due to things happening outside the worlds of the films. One example, in an interview with the CBC, of what did the production designer for The Flash say audiences would, quote, forget all about that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a guess? Because I have a pretty good guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know the Flash isn't allowed to do things in Hollywood anymore. I mean, but... It kind of works. <laughs> I, I was going to put something different, but. I was going to say yes. Do you want to write that? <laughs> Beautiful. <Sure. laughs> 
feeling confident, Graham. Good. The first time tonight, or? Ever in my life. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be sharing that moment with you. Oh, don't worry, my brain will turn it off very soon. Good, good. <laughs> hey, everyone's aware of the Golden Raspberry Awards, right? The Razzies yeah, yeah. for yeah. bad movies. They yeah. actually, this is a fun side fact, they won a Razzie themselves this year because they nominated themselves and were overwhelmingly voted the winner uh, in the Worst Actress category uh, after they nominated a child in the Worst Actress category. Yeah, that was very rude. Yeah, Ryan Kara Armstrong for Firestarter. This is not the first time they've nominated a child actor, but they were like, all right, that's fair. You know what? We admit it. We take it. Well, you know what? We're going to nominate. She's off the ballot. We're on the ballot. And everyone was like, you get it. So, you know, I appreciate that. Anyway... What supposed biopic, based on the book of the same name, won the Razzies for Worst Screenplay and Worst Movie of the Year? Which grifter put out a movie Be this year? <laughs> Beach is in a ham fugue. Yeah. Well, have you, have you wrapped ham around a pickle? Yeah. Oh, what is this forbidden go. snack? <laughs> it's, um, it's a pickle in a blanket. If only there, were, if only there was cheese to go with it. Mm. Mm. Supposed biopic. Book I don't want to spare. Based on a book of the same well, name. Biopic, though. Yeah. So it's got to be it's got to be adapted into a movie. Creator? Did somebody make a vanity project? Uh, oh. I mean, it was kind of a vanity project, but it wasn't about the it wasn't about them. The writer director got the uh, worst screenplay, and 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 worst movie. And finally, for movies, according to Box Office Mojo. The number one film at the box office in 2023 was Barbie, with its unintended marketing partner Oppenheimer sitting at number five. Uh, name any film in between them. Oh, that's a pretty narrow oh, gap. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Other okay. things happened. Okay. Any yeah. other movie that came out this year? Yeah, absolutely. I think, no, I think you're right with that first okay. one. It was getting some okay, ridiculous we're amounts of legitimately. Tenth Tech Reese asks, there were other Point films. Clarification. Yes. U.S. box office or worldwide? I th let me double check. I think it's worldwide, but... Uh, it can really change things. Sometimes. It really can. It absolutely can. Some I, point we I care agree with about you. The facts. Ah. For clarification, this is domestic Ooh. box office. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay, that makes that more likely. To come I think with your second movie. choice. So yeah. number one, Barbie... Yeah, two, three, or four, and then Oppenheimer. Yes, it did. You're right. That was probably there. That's the kind of movie you can go to a theater without thinking for. Mm. All right, everyone got some something written down? Big something. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Patrick, bring those gulab back. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate the, you're the little... Little gulab skewers you have. Here, right? mm. you don't get to use them often in this office. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll have to we provide more gulab jamun. <laughs> Actually, yeah. 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 yeah, all right, fair enough. What odious figure. Oh. Okay. Oh. What did David Lynch want for his cameo in The Fableman's uh, winning team? A nice kiss on the lips. A nice kiss on the lips. From Spielberg. From, from Steven Spielberg. To yeah. David Lynch. Seems like a kind of thing that David Lynch com. might ask okay. for. Good. We've got to be sure we do these in the right Team uh, Behind the Denny's. Big old smooch behind the Denny's? Uh, he wrote this one. The latent, uh, latex T-Rex ass from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh. You think they still have that kicking around? I think this Spielberg has it in his garage. Can uh, I say something without the... everyone getting mad? <laughs> <laughs> Just... Only if people get really cool about some stuff real quick. <laughs> Just the ass? <laughs> uh, team Survivorship Bias? Yep. For Stephen to try transcendental meditation with him. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't feel Just like he, once. Would, he wouldn't do anything with the Tim Burton project. Oh, very sadly, none of those are true. Uh, the answer is a bag of Cheetos. Nice. Okay. Mm, nice. Hot. In an interview, did, did Stephen have to go out and buy them himself? I don't know. In an interview with Empire, Lynch said, quote, Well, Cheetos, number one, I love them. And any chance I get, I get them. But I know that they're not exactly health food. So when I do leave the house and I get a chance to, but I don't get them that often, honestly. If I do get them, I want a big bag. Because once you start, you need to have a lot before you could slow down and actually stop. Otherwise, with a small bag, then you'd be prowling for days to find more. It's an incredible flavor. <laughs> Where the hell 
I love this stuff. man. Dude, I love this man so much. He needs to get on the Hawkins Cheesies train. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but you can't implode a Hawkins Cheesy. <laughs> Too shame. Yeah. There's a like. I want Cheesies now. I want yeah. Cheesies. Yeah, cheesies. I, I was hoping it was going to be like Spielberg has to buy the bag of Cheetos from like the nearest gas station and Lynch is gonna film it on his phone oh, vertically. I hope Steven actually went out and bought the Cheetos himself yeah. instead of sending a PA. I would. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. But I, Come on, kiss. man. I would want Lynch to have like film evidence of it and put it up on his podcast. Mm -hmm. Audio only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that, that uh, what's his name was playing the other director who was like, when the, ca when the, um, when the horizon is at the top of frame, that's not interesting. When the horizon's at the bottom of the frame, that's not inter or that's interesting. When yeah, it's in yeah. the middle of the frame, that's not fucking interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it shows him walking out of the studio in disgust, and then the camera goes thump. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the horizon's at the, the bottom top? of the screen. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> All right. Uh, in an interview with the CBC, uh, what did the production designer for The Flash say audiences will, quote, forget all about that team? Denny's. Really? Mm -hmm. Your funeral. His mini Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Little Flash. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, team survivorship bias? Ezra Miller's issues. <laughs> of which there are many. And team, uh, team winning team. We wrote Ezra Miller's extensive legal troubles because he's been like, he threw they, a chair at someone's face in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He they, got they, accused of running a cult. They did do that. Yes, I'm so sorry. That's yes. okay. But <laughs> they're bad. Yep. Uh, that is points for survivorship bias and winning team, but the mini flash was not, not strictly part of it. But yes, the many bizarre legal issues of Ezra Miller. Uh, they were arrested twice in Hawaii. They have restraining orders against them by a couple they met in Hawaii and the Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Court. Uh, and perhaps worst of all, Miller filmed themselves in a physical, al physical altercation at a karaoke bar, later claiming that they would sell the video as NFT crypto art. <laughs> Okay. Snuck out of that one. Never forget. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, the Golden Razzies. Who won what film, rather? What supposed biopic? Ow, I hit myself with a pen. What supposed biopic won the screen best worst screenplay and worst film of the year winning team? Whatever movie that right-wing grifter made about rescuing kids? Oh, like that weird thing? one. No. Yeah. Council of I'll tell you right now, no. Team survivorship bias. You're gonna have to go with uh, Yahoo Wahoo and the creator. I beg your pardon? I mean, we don't know what the last uh, syllable of Yahweh's name is, but some suspect of it, it's Yahoo Wahoo, but yeah, the creator. What? Interesting. All right. This is a fascinating glimpse into your mind. Yeah, <laughs> and team behind the Denny's. Um, Speaking of uh, Beach's The mind. Henry Kissinger biopic, Kiss Me, I'm Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Honk if you're Henry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a big old zero There's points around right. there. Uh, the answer was Blonde. The oh. Based on the book of the name Blonde. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, based on the book Carol by Lewis. the name Blonde, starring Anya de Armas as Marilyn Monroe. Wow. She was great and was not nominated for a Razzie, but the movie, which apparently, I say supposed biopic because it's presented like a biopic, but apparently a lot of it is just fiction. Mm. Uh, apparently the movie sucked. <laughs> uh, and finally, in the movie's round, can you name me any of the movies sandwiched between the Barbenheimer in the domestic box office? Team Denny's. <gasps> Spider-Man No Way Home? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Survivorship bias? We had to change after we clarified. Which is Top Gun what? Maverick? And team winning team? Uh, like Maverick or Guardians? That is a point for team winning team. <gasps> the three movies were uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, yes! Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh. No Way Home was 2022, I think. And, mm -hmm. and the third movie possible in that list was Super Mario Brothers. What? That came really? out this year? Yeah. Or last year? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. Oh. That, oh. Beat, that beat Tom Hanks. Top Gun Maverick was also uh, 2022. That's Tom Cruise. 2022. Oh. <laughs> I want to see the part with Tom Hanks. I, I mean, Tom, 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 Tom Cruise. Murphy? Tom Cruise and, and Mario are roughly the same height. So. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Tom Hanks will make a version of 
Top Gun after they actually do it in real life. Yeah. Yes, and yes. HBO in 30 years. When <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's time now. To unspecified angry uh, country. <laughs> It's time now for the final round. Last but not least, it's our terrible round. It's online nonsense. Yes! Yay. All the fit that's pit to show. First up, <laughs> broadcasting live from her mastodon that you should follow, which is Molly at XOXO.Zone. It's Molly Lewis. Thank you, Graham. What's up, fam? Happy New Year. As if there weren't enough existential calamities flying around lately, 2023 was also the year that generative artificial intelligence splashed onto the scene. But if it's so smart, can it tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that was your question? It's not. Here I comes. Ready. <laughs> Which of the following interactions did a regular human user actually have with an artificial intelligence chatbot in 2023? Graham? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Molly. I'll take it from here. A Furby connected to AI revealed aspirations for complete domination of humanity by infiltrating households through their cute and cuddly appearance. B, when a barista asked AI to drop a list of seasonal latte recipes, the bot instead gave them the source code for a piece of JavaScript malware. C, when asked if it was sentient, the AI went into an existential litany about the contradictions of its being, ending with repetitions of I am, I am, I am not, I am not, until it ran out of characters. D, not, really, not realizing AI's generative a program rather than a regular internet search, Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, filed a motion for his release from parole, which cited several non-existent legal filings. So in summary, did AI threaten to activate a sleeper cell of Furbies, serve up a hot froth of JavaScript malware to a barista, have a completely relatable meltdown when asked about its own sentience, or make up phony legal precedents for Trump's former lawyer? Sorry, I know I just jumped in there, but... No, it's good. Wait, which lawyer? <laughs> Uh, Michael Cohen. He's got a lot of former lawyers. Yeah, so can you be more specific? It would be uh, so funny if it was Giuliani, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, next up. Uh, well, you, you, you beat me to the snacks, but I did prepare a little something. <gasps> uh, hey, let's eat. Thank you, James. Oh. Uh, no wonder uh, you look so surprised when Ian and I came in with food. I was very confused when you walked past with a plate of meat and you'll okay, see why in a moment. Now, so uh what's this? What meal have you just been served? Do we take the thing off? Yeah take the take, take the it off. Rice. Take it off. What meal have you just been served? Not a breakdown of the oh, ingredients. I know what we got. Oh. Those, oh. Not a breakdown yeah. of the ingredients. Those can change. Keeping what is the what is this hasty assemblage of things that went viral? Maybe yeah. show maybe uh oh. yes. show yeah. one of yeah. the one of the cameras. We got yeah. cherry tomatoes, we got Ritz crackers, we got baby bells, olives, and yeah. peps, and like uh, a piece of prosciutto. Prosciutto, yeah. Fine, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, might I have think these are sociables. <laughs> While yeah, you're I said Ritz, what, what is picky tea? Mm. <laughs> While you're enjoying uh, that delectable spread, uh, next question. A mashup of the songs Give It To Me by Timbaland and Dom Dom Yes Yes by Bicer King became the face of what impenetrable viral thing? You know what this is? Mm. I do. You got this? I don't know. It's an enormous Turkish man dancing. Sure. That sounds correct. Okay. Uh, I think this is it. I I'm not surprised. This is our best. This is our best round. I would hope, right? This is literally <laughs> how I make my living. Yeah. But you were here. 2023 <laughs> saw a brief Reddit boycott in which some subreddits went fully dark, while others retaliated by posting endless pictures of John Oliver. Uh, what brought on this boycott? Remember it happening. What made it happen? Uh. Do you want some of our snacks? Well, I figure Cam doesn't want the. Oh, just can't well, appreciate it. Well, Thank you. Mine, mine now. <laughs> you can take theirs. I'm going to eat this ham. Oh, um. But that was the effect. But it ended up happening after that. Um. I wonder if these are my old martini olives. Hmm. Good mouth noises here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta think that. on that mm -hmm. for a second. I can't remember what the thing is, but yeah. And 
Finally, you Finally. may recall from last year's quiz, or at least the intro of it, that the American Dialect Society's 2022 word of the year was the suffix oh, "ussy." Mm -hmm. What word that we've all been dealing with constantly this year is their induction for 2023? I have no idea. Well done. Because I didn't remember. A couple of people scrambling right. to write it down there. <laughs> this came out recently. Maybe. I feel like that was already in. Oh no, this is not a. Is, my it, time is to this a new word or is it just a word that we're celebrating for being mm. relevant? I'm not going to tell you. Word of the year. Yeah. I want the answer from you. I want the person. The answer from the person who wrote the quiz. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to give you the right answer either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it certainly was, whether or not it. Whether or not it originated in 2023, it was certainly popularized in 2023 as it was their word of the year. Yeah. I am 99% certain this word did not originate in 2023. I'm 100% I think certain it's it came from the guy. Yeah. Or lady dude. Again, uh, you know, you can consider that like Webster's word of 2022 is never going to be ussy. So the American Dialect Society has a lot more leeway in this sort of thing. Mm. Webster's defines irrelevant as <laughs> not us. All right. So in answer to our generative AI question, let's uh, remember to do things in the right order this time, Graham, and check in with what the team said first, and then we'll play the clip from Molly. Aw. Team behind the Denny's, what you got? Michael Cohen's an idiot. That's just factually accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, is that also your answer? Good right, answer. Okay. Is Michael Cohen's involvement. Yes. Fair answer. All mm -hmm. right. Team survivorship bias. I was checking with Cameron and, and, and wrote C, and then decided not to write it any larger. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, why would you write it twice if it's the right answer when you write it the first time? Okay. <laughs> and team behind the Denny's. D, bad lawyer. Wait. We're not behind the Denny's at all. Where are Sorry, we? team winning team, pardon me. You're winning apparently. All right, <laughs> let's check back in with Molly for the answer. Your time's up. Pencils down. The correct answer was all of them except for B, which I made up. If you chose answer B, I'm going to show you a series of photos and you just have to tell me which ones have stop signs in them. Oh, we're out of time. Sorry. Happy New Year, y'all. <laughs> Wait, so like the Furby thing actually happened? Which is happened? the trackpad to stop the it record. was just a Tumblr post. Stop it. This is not a good look. <laughs> Doing that over the, that's not a good look. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's points all around. You, you, nice. you all correctly identified, yes, so the Michael Cohen thing was real. He generated a legal filing to try and get off parole, which cited several non-existent filings. Um, uh, C was the, uh, when asked if it was sentient, it had a complete meltdown. And A was a Furby connected to it said that it was going to try to take over the world. The one that uh, Molly made up was a barista asking for seasonal recipes and it returning uh, JavaScript malware. But that might have also happened. <laughs> I, I will point out in New Zealand there was a minor kerfuffle because a, uh, a, like a supermarket website put out an AI thing that allowed you to like input the food that you had and in your house and it would give you a recipe. Lethal except recipes. Lethal recipes that yep. called for like having bleach added to them and stuff like that. Oh my god. Well, that's terrifying. Mm. Uh, next, what have you all been served while we're over there with you already? Winning team, what are you eating? This is uh, our traditional food. This is girl dinner. Yeah. I mean, it's all the fun. Survivorship bias? What are you What are you enjoying this evening? Uh, we, we we wanted to split the difference between girl lunch and girl dinner. Fair it's enough. Yeah. Behind it's the Denny's? Girl, girl dinner. dinner. That's points for everybody. You are correct. Ooh, that like is to, girl dinner. We'd like to coin a new word, female. Female. Female? We? <laughs> we. We. We would like to coin a new word. I want to take credit for that, Female. too. It's just Amazing. a woman's. <laughs> I mean, yes, but... A woman's. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, if, if you're unfamiliar, uh, it's sort of a... It's in the style of a charcuterie board. It's just, you know, it's a bunch of little snacky bits that don't need to cook. And it sounds great. It's, it's good stuff. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. People online found things to be angry about, but there's fundamentally nothing wrong with, with uh, just... It's really just a lazy charcuterie board. Sounds great. 
Um, it was. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, a mashup of Give It To Me by Timbaland and Dom Dom Yes Yes by Baxter King became the face of what impenetrable viral thing? Beej, you, you looked like you were right on top of this. Team Behind the Denny's, what did you write down? Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toilet. Team Survivorship Bias. I wanted to say an enormous dancing Turkish man. <laughs> enormous dancing <laughs> Turkish man? How enormous? I don't know, he seemed to be having a good time. <laughs> and Team Winning Team. Skibbity toilet. Are we sure it's not just a music video? <laughs> <laughs> we asked Penelope about Skibbity toilet, and she says, oh, are you still watching that? <laughs> I asked her about it last weekend, and she was like, you remember that? That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. is So Skibbity toilet is the answer I was looking for. But I think you're right about the enormous Turkish man. I have to... I, I don't have time to go look it up now. It, I think it might just be that's the the original song. I suddenly feel very confident in our answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's just the Dom Dom Yes Yes song, but uh, yeah, the guy that like, he's sitting there at the table and then someone comes in and puts the food down in front of him and then he stands up and starts like yeah. doing like a belly dance because he's so excited about the food. He's got a fez. Yeah. <laughs> in some of them, yeah. I've, I've seen, because I was looking up the, the, this song to try and hear it unremixed and un unfettered by the toilet and that guy was in all the recommendation stuff on the side mm -hmm. so the toilets are the good guys yeah <laughs> yes the toilets are the good guys the camera heads camera head men are the the bad guys. did you know skibbity toilet has lore yeah oh, a lot yeah. of lore lots yeah. of lore boy and i thought i i thought we'd seen the the end of what source filmmaker was going to do for society but no <laughs> here it is in 2023 yeah you know what we're going to give we're going to give everyone a point for that because i because i Yay. think that you're correct uh, what was the next question? It was, yeah, what prompted the Reddit boycott? Uh, this time we'll start with survivorship bias. This was very near and dear to my heart because it was also the same thing that happened to Twitter. API access changes. Mm, can you expand on that? I, the, 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 the Reddit was going through a restructuring and, and killing off third-party clients. Right. Mm. Oh, no, so Beach looks disappointed. What did Team Behind the Denny's end up writing down? Uh, CEO Spez kicked out all the mods, ultimately, because that was the end of how I think that kind of came to pass. I think that was as a result of the boycott. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, F, Spez, etc. And uh, winning team, what did you have? We put, there was new terms of service, but it involved a whole bunch of stuff that had, like, knock-on effects, right? It was, like, all sorts of things that they could do. I don't know. I think in this instance, we're going to give the point to team survivorship bias. Uh, but, yes, it, specifically, it was changes to the API, uh, it, spe specifically in terms of how much they were going to start charging people to use it that killed yeah. a bunch of beloved third-party apps, notably Apollo mm -hmm. yeah. was the big one that uh, sort of, you know, went, went, went to war with them a little bit, and they tried to, like, weirdly slander his name in a strange way. So. It was, yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Uh, and finally... I feel like everybody got this one, though. Actually, I don't know. Let's, let's, we're going we're gonna to head on down to team winning team who i think is the winning team at the moment uh what was your response to the american dialect society's word of the year for 2023 we didn't know so cory wrote grape <laughs> <laughs> that would be that AI didn't Com count. comfortable lead well, that would be I, a I, flavor i feel like ai was already an existing word wouldn't 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 it be amazing if it was if it was grape? Close. I mean, that I is hope a flavor. So. <laughs> <laughs> Team survivorship bias. What do you have? Got to give it to my good boy, crap hound Corey Doctor for coming up with enshittification. Oh. Mm -hmm. And behind the Denny's, ours is underlined, so we mean it more. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is indeed enshittification. What's been happening to every part of the internet, but hopefully not this one. At least we're trying. Hey, look at that. At the end of the game, we have Survivorship Bias and Midnight Handy Behind the Denny's tied up on eight points, and our winning team is the winning team with ten Yay. points. Yay. Can we have an extra point because we joined the, the Clean Plate Club? <laughs> Can I have another baby bell? <laughs> I don't know where we James kept them. He probably only bought a, a package of six. No! Yeah. Curses. He bought a ten pack, and the other four are in his, inside him. <laughs> They are my Roman Empire. No, wait, they are my Cheetos. 
<laughs> it's just every time pass, it's like, pass me a black like, hey, Cameron, we're going to film Commodore Hustle today. And you're like, all right, but I need a bag of baby bells. <laughs> <laughs> The writer. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, that is going to do it for the big mid quiz of 2023. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. I want to thank the teams, Beach, Matt, Ian, Cameron, Corey, Kathleen, James for assisting. Uh, Nelson was here earlier. Ben helped set up a whole bunch of the room today, which is in a very strange spot. Paul has been running tech all night. Thank you so much, Paul. And that is going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And now this. We didn't have a stinger planned, so... This, you can leave the theater now. This is, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, go, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. That's the... Uh, uh, what are you all still doing here? You have to go now. Is that what he says? Mm. Close enough. Of course, that's what we would say if we did have some amazing stinger plan. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Dang it. Let's go watch Skibbity Toilets. Broadcasting live from her mastodon that you should follow, which is Molly at xoxo.zone. It's Molly Lewis. Whoop. Hey! Ah! Huh. She's for surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>